Hello. So, unfortunately, we are not going to be continuing the heist today because Harrow is sick and is out, but Cameron's back. Yeah, looking pasty, welcome. Looking pasty as ever, actually. All that. Very pasty. Eh, he's got that white light on him, looking pasty as ever. But yeah, so so Cam's back, but Harrison's out. So we Very are going to be gray. continuing with the. Uh, with the redneck adventure. Yes, uh, we are. So here is uh, here is how I'm gonna do this, guys. Just because you know, this again is zero level. We're gonna uh, to move this shit along. All right. So really, the last game. Remember, things are moving very quickly. Maybe like a half hour, like 40 minutes tops has actually passed since your original characters woke up. Like it hasn't been long at all. All this shit's happened mm -hmm. very, very quickly. So a second group of characters, meaning Jay's new two, two new characters, as well as Cameron's characters, wake up. Right over here, behind this house. And they wake up to a commotion down here to the south. Of course, we know there's all kinds of things going on at this well. So that's what they're hearing. They wake up, heads hurting from booze, disoriented. There's forest up here you know, pines, There's, they're in the back of some old creaky house, and they hear a bunch of hollering and hooting down here uh, on the other side of this house. And of course, the people that uh, that I have been in... Defeat, I thought we defeated the thing in the well. Didn't we defeat the thing in the well? You yes. did. You did. That's what I thought. Okay. But it, but Good that heart. just happened. So there's still all okay. kinds of like hooting right. and hollering. Right. And yeah. remember, it, the you found some like you found some like spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. like, remember, like, those oh, combat right. rounds are only you know they're only like six mm -hmm. seconds long or whatever. So that that whole fight took like a, a minute or something. Ooh, you know what I mean? Scary. It was right, very right. very quick. So. Mm -hmm. So basically, they're still kind of like hooting and hollering, people, you know, shouting. But yes, the uh, the friar. Ooh. I'm sorry. Where's the, where is Garrett? Oh, I'm here. I just don't have a camera. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, Garrett. No, nah, no. Nah, he explained uh, way early on that his room is dark because he's got a breaker shut off or something. I don't know. So sorry. Anyway. So yes, that's where we are. The uh, the friar has um, has this holy symbol uh, that the the uh, I think it was Harrison's character, right? The falconer had reached down mm -hmm. to try and find his his dagger and found mm -hmm. this holy symbol. Had given it to the friar. The thing down in the well is dead, and so there are some people down in the well. There's some people up in the well, and then there are some new people here. So. I'm actually going to start with the new people. So they all wake up. You all wake up. And again, this is, uh, this is Jay, your two new characters, and Cameron's characters. And yeah, you hear all this shouting and stuff, and you're in a weird place. You were just at this wedding, and everything's different now. Ugh, what the hell's going on around here? I, I, I don't know. I was playing my fiddles and uh, drinking some, some of this dare some here drink, and uh, I, I don't know. I feel rather confused, by golly. You look, there's a few of you around here, just a handful okay, of you. I my hammer. You see old Jeb. He's dead. He looks like he looks like he's got his whole life sucked out of him. All his blood, he's all he's all curled up like a husk of corn 
all dried up. And you can hear hoots and hollering. Did you kill that thing? <laughs> Coming down from the south here. What the hell? Familiar voices. We, we get, get, everyone get up. We gotta, we gotta see what's going on. Old Jib's dead. Come on now. Jib's, Jib me, was, my, me. was my cousin's sister's wife. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> All right, so. Something like that. <clears throat> What do those uh, What do those people do? Do they make their way, kind of down here towards the south? Yeah. Yeah. All my characters kind of kind of walking down towards. I assume this is a well. Yeah. So when they uh, when they round the the side of this uh, old creaky cabin here, they see the well and uh, several of the uh, of the wedding attendants uh, are around the well looking quite frazzled. What's going on in that well? What the? What the Jedediah, well? Jedediah turns around with his pitchfork and like and is aiming his pitchfork at him. I thought you were about to say you stabbed one of us. You <laughs> turn around and <laughs> no, just, <laughs> just threw it just without what looking. Hey, listen. <laughs> what the hell? Week, Last week, that's exactly what he did. True. He, like, l launched a pitchfork into a well full of people. That is uh, <laughs> yeah. that is 100% what happened. Uh, yes. Yes, it Whoops. is. <clears throat> so. Oh, what? Oh, where the hell did you come from? We, uh. We woke up behind that old house there. I, uh, I don't remember um, what happened. I was trying to play cornhole and getting some husky and uh, sniffing some snooping. And uh, I woke up and I decided to work for you. Say? <laughs> okay, just, just to, just. To, to, to give everybody some context, we actually live in Appalachia, and I will tell you that Jason's action is spot on for the people that live in our community. So, I just, just, just let you know that... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you if you know people who act that way. <clears throat> yep. yep. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I apologize to the community. <laughs> no, no. Sorry, no. All right, no, we good, we good. No, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Carry on, guys. I was playing my fiddle out in the wood, <laughs> and I wanted to get me some deers this way and cobble some apples. What's going on? I can't even. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, you seem to be having the same condition that we all just had. Uh, more pressing, we're uh, under attack by some type of spirit. It's like a dark wraith with glowing eyes, and it's actually... I've been uh, attacked by a spirit before. It was in the church, and we all had the rattlesnakes out, and I got bit, and the spirit took me over. <laughs> Is that why old Jeb's dead? Yep. And Schlanky. And. Not Schlanky. Two no. others. <laughs> and two others. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't write both the, their names. The orphan. Names. There was an orphan and a hunter. Orphan. It was an orphan. Yeah, we ever got their names, actually. Yeah. No, no, because they never had like, names. Like three and four. Uh, yeah, yeah. What are we going to do? Yet, so she didn't get her name. Yeah, 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 exactly. 
Are you guys okay down there? Why yeah, are the what people are... in the well? Well, the are fryer. you thirsty? The fryer are you jumped into the down in the well. The fryer jumped into the well, and there was something down there, and then a couple more people jumped down well. there. So, but it sounds. We're it. I think we're baited. Friars down there with his makeshift torch. Uh huh. But we need to be. You need to throw that rope down so we can get pulled back up. Yeah, the falconer's like throw down the rope. I guess we'll. Uh, the boy throw down the rope. I'll throw down the rope. All right. So you so whoever uh, has a rope. You throw the rope. Uh, you throw the rope back down into the uh, into the well, and again, uh, who's gonna who's gonna hold the rope? You know, you've got what like three fairly decent sized guys that have to climb yeah. back up. I'm gonna delete my last character so that way I don't accidentally think it's like. D- uh, delete the that's one good. that's not the, the definitely not delete the, the non character. Yeah, because he I, this one is is a character is a is a gone character. Okay, it's whoever, yeah, just make sure you keep the three I actual characters. the numbers. I don't know. I don't know. You're the one Here. who numbered them. No, I mean it's populating <laughs> back like the, the numbers are populating. <laughs> Maybe it's just like the character sheet is automatically. Uh, oh, did you just like delete a specific character slot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're coming back up to Ted, being all being Ted. Oh, that's just the. Oh default. yeah, that's just the default. So that just means yeah. that's like a de- so just like just don't just ignore that guy. No, no, can't you like? Down. Can't you just like scroll down to the bottom, click modify, and then you can scroll back up and delete any any given character. Can't you also it. like click a thing in the upper right of each character to kind of minimize it? Just minimize that guy. Yeah, that that works too. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, you toss the rope down. Who's gonna Who's gonna be the kind of anchors of the? Who are the strong people that are gonna kind of anchor the rope? Here, because, give me that rope. I'll yeah. I'll help. Well, I've got Jesse, who's pretty strong too. He's going to be on the rope. So, uh, and Jed, right. Jed is yeah. Yeah. So the blacksmith guy as well. He's pretty strengthy, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so who is down in the uh, in the water? The friar, the falconer, mm-hmm. John. and John. Yeah, the friar. The Falconer and John. All right. <laughs> so who's who's going up first? Friar going up first? Yeah. The Friar is probably going to try to go up first because he's the heaviest. And so he's going to hand his torch <clears throat> off to the Falconer. Okay. Falconer take the torch. And, and then, um. So the Friar is going to have to try to pull himself up until he can get. And, and yeah. Okay. Yeah. So whoever is the anchor up top. Go and go ahead and roll a, a strength check. Do you need me to roll like an agility or a strength check as well? Because I've got to try to climb. Is it yeah. trained? Yeah, trained. Uh, trained or untrained for Friar? Untrained for Friar. Friar sucks. Okay, the friar's like trying to get on the friar's like so he's like he's, he's like, out of shape. He's like really out of shape. He's mm-hmm. like having a bad time at this. And uh yeah, it's not going good. Okay, so all right. I'll tell you what. So here's what's going to happen. All right. Jenny is going to she's going to tell the friar to get off the rope. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's going to shimmy down the rope. She is the the dyer. So she works with the wools and she works with fabrics and things. Okay. She's going to get to the bottom of the rope. 
and she's going to tie a loop at the bottom of the rope so that the friar can put his foot into it. Oh, the friar would put his foot into it, I bet. <laughs> All right, so she climbs down and ties. All right, and... Uh... Check. Is she is she is she wearing a skirt or pants? I don't know. I haven't I haven't gotten that far. Well, we need to know this. We are in Appalachia. <laughs> you may not be able to afford, afford the undergarments. She's probably wearing a skirt, likely. She's a lady, and she was at a wedding. You guys were at a wedding. Oh, yeah. So you mm -hmm. guys, she's yeah. probably wearing a skirt, so you, you, know, you probably got the view. Yeah. Well, I expect her going down a well in a skirt with men down there. So you're climbing down, and the guys, there's people up here objecting to you going down. <laughs> <laughs> well, she 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 looks up and gives people a finger. I don't know. Oh man. <laughs> anyway. So All right. So gotta, you you get down there, do. you tie up the rope, and now what's the plan? So to put the, I mean, she's going to try to have the friar put his foot into the rope. So they and and she's like, "You guys down here, push him up while they pull." Okay. Okay. So the All friar right. is actually using none of his own strength. Well, no, I'm going to have him use his own strength too to try to push, to try to pull up. But but he's heavy. Oh damn! Look at that. Did you? Did you? Okay. Know? I want to yell down. Hey, you're them there good and okay. gettings. Did you check and see if there's another way out of that there well? All right. Leonard the Hunter, he's doing good. You're asking if there's another way out of that there well. and uh... Probably not. <clears throat> well, if the water comes in down there, got to go out. <laughs> you know? John, John will look around. Okay, so John's going to look around down there. I'm trying to see. There's the falconer. We're going to go ahead. Meemaw, one time was down there uh, drinking in the holler. This, this fat fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. there, bacteria or whatever it was and died. All right, Leonard makes a good pool and he's got he he's got Fred like halfway up, and he's he's oh man he's 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 pulling, and yeah, Jesse's not helping. And then as Fred's about halfway up, there's an oh, eerie yeah. stillness, and all of a sudden you hear. Kah -kah! Kah -kah! No, we just... Actually, no, we're not hearing that. Is that a that, calling? That calling that you heard before. It goes off oh. twice again. And then... Ooh, from the forest's edge, you see the glowing eyes of the phantoms. It's initiative. Uh, fuck this, we dropped them and run. Will may actually be safer. <laughs> oh shit! Where's my where is where is where be I at? Where be I at? Where be I at? Where be I at? You don't look the same. Were you supposed to put the tracker on there? Because the yeah, I don't know what my there. characters are all purple. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter which one you click because remember, initiative is for all of them. Everyone. Yeah, well, I probably I, mean, I probably should have put the tracker up, my, but it's my person that that can be is the tracker. I oh, see John, I see John. I see something, and I see three purple people. I am a purple person. I think click the purple person. Um, Is it by the thing that died, like the house that ate everyone? Yeah, yeah. Click that. Yeah, yeah. Click that guy. I think that guy's you. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, that's what I was getting at. I didn't know. Oh, we're special. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Cameron, your characters uh, clearly won initiative. Uh, they're basically all right here around the well. So, and they have not really seen this ha this stuff before, but everybody kind of starts to panic, and they can see over here, they can see kind of these glowing green eyes, and something's coming out of the forest. A phantom. Oh, guys? Guys, what the hell is that? Oh. Um. They killed Jeb. We can't fight him. We can't do it. And, uh, let's see. Addison is not very confident about uh, these spooky guys. Okay. Uh, Leonard's still holding the rope. And... Uh, let's see, Adolis, he's, he's gonna start running. Is he gonna try and run to one of these houses? Is he gonna try and run for, like, cover? The closest thing, of course, is, are these, these houses here, like, uh, I mean, it, it really any of the houses, but, you know. <clears throat> sure, he's gonna run to the top right one. Okay, so he's, he's headed to, to this one up here. And uh, so your 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 character that's holding the rope is steadfast with the rope, though. Yeah, he's like, "Come on, guys, get get up, we gotta and go." Then, and then the 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 other person is just kind of kind of, would you say frozen or? Yeah, kind of like frozen. Or or yeah. kind of maybe like holding to see what happens. Because she yeah. did win initiative. She's pretty tense. So. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so Dan. Yeah. That's you. Okay, so Jesse is going to continue to hold the rope, but he's he's watching. He's he's like his, his attention is not on the rope, it's on the field or on the on the tree line. <clears throat> so he's watching, so he's kind of holding, right? Okay. Uh Jed let go. Okay. And Gre Jed let go of the rope and and like picked up the pitchfork and is like getting ready. Okay, okay. Okay. Um the people who are in the well are just kind of like listening. Don't really and, know what's going and, on. And, and Fred is like half in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean is Fred continue Well, let's the, let, that's the question. What does Fred do? Does he does he try and climb? Or what? Yeah, was... for Fred, for, yeah, Fred. So Fred's gonna continue to try to climb. Okay, go ahead and make because a he... make a strength check. So obviously there's there's now new commotion. Oh my god! <laughs> Fred, Fred is Fred. terrible. Fred fell. <laughs> fell back <laughs> in the water. Fred is like so, completely. Uh... <laughs> Fred hears commotion up at the top, and starts to Freak try out. and frantically climb up. And loses the the loop and and just absolutely oh, like. Hold on. So, Jenny is right up right beneath him. Oh like oh. She was pushing him. Actually, so Jenny, let, that's a question here. Let yeah. Me, so me... would would Jenny like need agility to get out of the way? Jenny's fucking crushed. I'm sorry, Jenny. <laughs> you uh, let's see. Go ahead and a uh, go ahead and uh, roll a reflex for Jenny. It's a saving throw. Um, I, I don't have anything under reflex. It's I, all zeros. Yeah, yeah, just roll it. It should be okay. that's just like it's unmodified, basically. Oh, okay. All right, so the friar lands on Jenny, and they both go into the water. 
and he he doesn't hurt her. It was a okay. short fall. They're both in the water, but now they're like both submerged in the water. Okay, so All that's right. that's fine. They can come. All I right. mean, it's only yeah. They'll come up next round. They'll just get up, stand up next round. Yeah, and then Garrett, what are your characters right. doing? So, no one is left at the well, right? Either ran off to the top right cabin or. Oh no! No, no. Two two people. Uh, two people are holding the the rope. Still One holding? of okay. yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, and yeah. yeah. One Chad of Cameron's is standing there. Yeah, one of Cameron's characters and one of Dan's characters are holding the rope, and then one of Dan's characters is is holding his pitchfork as like defensively. So there are definitely still people holding the line here, and then Jay's characters obviously haven't gone yet. So uh, then Athena, the sage, is gonna go like right next to the well mm -hmm. and uh, pretend like she knows some mystic anti-spirit thing and like prepare herself have her dagger out but like do some uh some chant to try to keep away the spirit well uh, uh she is she is a sage assistant so let's see if she has who knows maybe she actually mm -hmm. knows something uh go ahead and I want you to roll for that. Um, I rolled four. I rolled will when I did mine. Uh, yeah, but it's a sage, so I'm going to say that it's more like intelligence. So go oh, ahead yeah. and roll intelligence, but roll it trained because, again, you're like a sage's assistant. Oh, I just realized she has a four personality. Uh, oh, God. Okay, so you uh, you you kind of you 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 think of uh, oh yeah a little, a little chan against uh, against spirits and demons and that kind of stuff and uh, and you you do chant that to yourself um, or do you chant it aloud? Oh, aloud, yeah. Okay, okay. So you chant it aloud and um, and uh, everybody kind of feels a little you know you kind of feel like oh hey. You know, oh, we know maybe she's she's gonna help us. Maybe that's a little bit of protection there. So everybody at least kind of feels like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're we're a little bit solid here. Okay, what about uh, what about your other people? Uh, Ragut's just going up to the well, peering down to see what happened to everyone, and I guess pulling out his shovel. Okay. He pulls out his shovel, looks down the well. It looks like uh, looks like Fred has fallen from the rope, and uh, then I guess John is down in the water, right, or in the yeah. He was uh, looking around to see if there was like a, oh a yeah way yeah water was to flowing see in if or there out was here. a way that he could possibly see any way out. Um, let's go ahead and have him. Uh, did you roll an initiative for Harrison's characters? Shoot. They go uh, off. Shoot. Ah, uh, you, you should actually roll it down here. I should. Mm -hmm. That roll? No. Ah. Uh, mm. Dang it. Hang on. Which crap. Uh, we're going to say that guy, I think. There we go. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. It was an initiative that hasn't happened yet. So that, just, that works out. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Did, did, did you roll? 
What was that that last intelligence check for, Garrett? Oh, that, that was, was that was Athena. That was the, the oh, spell okay. For the chant. Okay, that's that's right. The the chant. Okay, yeah. Roll an intelligence check for John. Uh, oh. go Don't ahead. And, uh, what is John? The mayor's son. The mayor's son, untrained. <laughs> uh, John's pretty sure there's no way out of here except for up, as far as he can tell. Uh, yes, yeah, so I don't think there's a way out of here. I think we have to go up. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So then the... Uh... The spirits begin to begin to come from uh, from here and here, and they go to converge on the people standing near the well. Um, what are the luck of what's the luck of all the people hanging around the well? Uh, I have two characters by the well. Oh, wow! Uh, so 14, ten. Yeah, you haven't acted yet. No, I'm saying my blacksmith's luck mm -hmm. is... Does anybody have really I've horrible been... luck? Five. 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 Seven and a eleven. Okay, who's five got a, f who's five got a five? Ten. Who's that five? That is Jesse the Outlaw. All right, one of, uh, one of those phantoms is uh is just headed straight towards Jesse the outlaw man he's just it's like it's attracted to him like a fucking magnet and uh that phantom flies and holy crap just i mean Jesse the outlaw is like and like the phantom like he kind of feels it like suck a little bit from his face just to let it kind of like comes by but not quite <gasps> he's okay does he, take any damage? he does not any take damage? any damage it was close though <sighs> this thing somehow he, he somehow he was lucky mm. he like dodged out of the way of this thing maybe that little chant had something to do with it um Jay, who's your character with the seven luck? Seven? I don't have anyone with seven luck. Didn't you say it? Didn't you? Eight? No. Eight? No? No. Didn't somebody say they had seven are luck? Just, are we just oh, talking said, about characters with bad luck? I'm, yeah, yeah. I said I, I, said I have it. Elevens and a 17. Oh. I've got, got a, I've got a seven and a five. Oh, and you've got, got a five, got too. A, that's what I was looking for. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I... Okay, the seven and the five. Okay, who's your five? That'd be uh, uh, Leonard. All right, so this thing uh, is... Hunter. The hunter. Uh, the guy holding the rope. So hopefully uh, no one's on that rope. Well, actually, the rope has just... The rope had just fallen away. So, I mean, like, so you just got slacked. That's, that's, the... that's, that's how Jesse, that's how the luck happened. The friar fell off the rope and all the slack, so everybody falls back. So everybody fell back. That's probably how the luck happened. And that's actually probably how the luck happened for, uh, for, for that one, too. They all kind of fell back. And these two fandoms, like, just, like, right over all the people with the rope. And again, they, like, feel it almost like, but both of them actually, live, like, survive. But you kind of fall back on each other. The phantoms uh, do not get you. Unfortunately, that, there are two phantoms. There are two from here. Unfortunately for this guy that's headed here, who was headed up to this house here? That was Adolus the Woodcutter. Okay, so the Woodcutter is running up there. Make a uh, make a dexterity check for the Woodcutter. Trained or untrained? Uh, he's a Woodcutter. Trained. He actually makes it up onto the porch, and 
the door is open. He rushes into the door and uh, and shuts the door, and he is safe. And that phantom turns its attention uh, back to the well. And... Jay, yeah. your two characters who are at who are at the well. Yeah. Uh, the one with the worst luck. Who's that? They both have the same. They both have the same. Don't you have somebody with really good luck? Yeah, but that, he's at. Oh, that's that guy. Okay, you're right. You're right. That's yeah. Guy at the house. He's over at the house. I forgot. Um, yeah. They both have 11. They both have 11. Let's see. The phantom that... Uh, the phantom that comes off the house loops back around and tries to get the blacksmith, uh, but also misses the blacksmith. And uh, it's your turn, Jay. They somehow did not hit anyone this this combat That's crazy. round, which is insane. Uh, so, yeah, what are your so characters a, doing? So there are three full of them. Fiddler. The, there the, are three the, of them. The musician will 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 fiddle a, a religious hymnal that he believes that will force away the will. Of the Phantom. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm down with that because he seems like a, oh a total God. coup. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so roll a person. The devil went down to Georgia. Yeah, roll a uh, roll a personality check for that guy. <laughs> right. uh, trained because he's a musician. He's trained. Mm -hmm. yeah, trained. Personality. I don't know, man. Maybe that should be agility. No, nah, no, nah, he's a musician. The, the right. Yeah. All right. He starts a fiddling and a and a and a singing and a and a dancing and he's he's doing a like a crazy like hymnal. Uh, and, yeah, it's who knows if it's working, but that's what he's doing. But he's he he's doing it. Uh, what about your other person? The blacksmith is inspired. Yeah, the blacksmith and and literally just got, I mean, just a near miss of this thing. Near miss, and he is and he is overtaken by this experience. So he takes out his hammer, and he starts banging it against the well in rhythm with the hymnal that's playing. So they're starting <laughs> congregational like like things that you hear this the the like the fiddle thing, and then you hear the Ding, ding, ding of the blacksmith. And he's getting into it, and his head's a-bopping, and he's like, we can get these things away. All right, let's uh, go ahead and roll personality for the blacksmith as well. Okay. Some holy jams going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Is this untrained or trained? Uh, We'll go ahead and untrained here. Cause, well, no, he's a blacksmith. Shit. Oh. <laughs> It oh. doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so the blacksmith is uh is not quite in rhythm. <laughs> He's just kind of banging the hammer haphazardly <laughs> on the. Thing. He's not a the, musician. The, the people who are down in the well. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck he's hooting on? and hollering though man he's into it but he's he's just completely like out of time with everything else that's going he's on taken by the spirit yeah yeah he's just blathering like foaming at the mouth oh uh, oh my goodness okay it's initiative <laughs> what about harrison lost the oh shit that's I'm gonna right. just keep. I'm just gonna keep trying to keep reminding you. <laughs> true, Harrison. true. 
Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's How see. many characters does he have left? Let's see. He's got Chester, uh, Dexter, and Sally. And I think... Wait. Where does... Does he have Wally too? God, where are all where are all these fucking people? <laughs> somewhere. Uh, well, I know. Okay, the Falconer is definitely down in the well, and I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure those people were kind of up at the well as well. Well as well. Well, well. Or maybe the one guy was in. Okay. Um, all right, the guy in the well is actually going to try to, uh, to jump on the free rope and get out of the well. Uh, yeah, but he was holding the rope. Oh, yeah, I mean, he doesn't know that, though. <laughs> the rope, where, who's, but how's the rope staying in the well? It's probably That's just my, like yeah. it's probably just hanging Hang there. Okay. It, well, it might not be hanging there. Remember, the fire falls off. Everybody falls back, which pulls the rope up. Not far. Not far though. Not yeah, far. Yeah, I guess and everyone's kind of like you know the stop touching the rope and just kind of let it dangle. I guess I don't know. Yeah. So he actually, he actually pulls the rope, and it pulls the rope down. All the way down. Yeah, all the way down oh into the well with them. And uh, his other characters, let's see. We're going to say the, the, uh, the woodcutter is going to take a swipe at the uh, at one of these things, just because I feel like that's what the woodcutter would do. <laughs> the woodcutter takes a swipe, and it he seems to hit one, and whether it does anything or not, it kind of like it kind of makes the thing kind of they're they're very agitated at this moment. They're definitely very agitated with you guys. Um, and let's see. I think that Sally chick is probably going to try and get back into this house over here. So she's running, but not very well all right now it's initiative uh let me go ahead and put up the turn tracker okay. 21 how the fuck Jeez. plus one no wait why do i have a plus one because one of your characters it's it's based on uh. your best your whoever has the best initiative so oh damn nice good stuff <laughs> what? everyone's ready to go <laughs> almost everyone 22 what the fuck <laughs> i know oh, i'm like hell? what Who dang you know, like 22, 21, 19, and then four. Four. <laughs> well, I guess that's Harrow's characters then. Um, wait a second. So, where, uh, why are there two? There are two of you, and there were two. Wait, you got. Okay, is that right? That one. We got Garrett. What did you actually roll? 
Uh, nat 20. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so that's the bad one. And then Dan, you got a, and actually got a four, right? Yeah, I actually got a four. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, all right. So Harrison's character. So the uh, the falconer is just gonna try and get up out of the water and you know uh, get himself going. Uh, his other character is going to reach this uh, house over here. And who went up to this house here? Somebody's in there. Adolus. All right, and she's she she is gonna let Sally in, right? He is going to let Sally in, yeah. He he. Okay, all right. So she's gonna go up and she's gonna get into this house with Adolus here, and then, uh, let's see. Uh... And the woodcutter, man, the woodcutter's going to keep fighting because he's like, he's he's into it now. He's just like, yeah, let's fucking go. But uh, this time he's just like swinging his axe around. <laughs> like he's just, he's just going wild. And then uh, Garrett, it's your character's. So at the moment, the uh, the three phantoms are like right, just right here, like all around the well area. Well, then Athena's she's right there, just grabbing a dagger and going at him. Uh... Uh, where is it? Melee. Uh, yeah. So Athena's just charging the one closest to her. So she runs, swinging her the dagger around, uh, just kind of, you know, kind of missing this misty thing that flies past her. Uh, and I think, um, yeah, Gragut's probably gonna do the same thing. Is anyone still holding the rope? No, probably um. Not. No, 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 because the rope has fallen in. So they, oh, everybody, it's completely fallen in. Yeah, yeah, they've lost the rope at this point. The people up top. Okay. Then yeah, uh, Greg Goot's doing the same thing. He already has a shovel out. He's going over to the next one to try to bash it over the head with his shovel. All right. He's wildly swinging around his shovel. It's a chaotic scene. Who you got uh, left? John, John, John down John. in the well. Um, so he, yeah, the falconer tried to get up, pulled the rope down. Now the rope is kind of floating on top of the water. The falconer has kind of just gotten up out of the water. Um... Everybody's all f down in the water, like just trying to get up out of the water after falling in. John is the only one that's kind of like, <clears throat> you know. Oh no, the falconer was holding the torch. Oh, so is it dark down here? The falconer was holding the torch. He fell in the water, so yeah, it's dark. Oh boy. <clears throat> awesome. Thanks uh... for reminding me, Dan. <laughs> well hey this is this is the grinder this it's is true. the way it works mm -hmm. this yeah, is the way yeah. it works so yes yeah it's it just it's pitch black so john's like oh. i assume the well is made out of stone or well here <clears throat> here's the thing, thing. Rem remember the well you're kind of in this like this like it's like water that's anywhere from like six to two feet deep in the in the bottom and <clears throat> it gets deepest just underneath the well and then the well is doesn't actually start until several feet above the water so you're in kind of like a little cavern and it's like you can't even like you 
you may be you you may be able to I don't know nah probably not you probably can't because you're in water you probably can't jump high enough to even touch the edge you'd have to have rope to even get to where the well comes down does that make sense okay. yeah yeah um <clears throat> All right, then uh, he's going to look at or try to inspect the, the collapsed body of that stick monster, twig monster. Okay. All right. He's got or very... Or find anything. Yeah, he's got very little light, but he's going to try and uh, do that. Okay. Uh, what is he again? What's his profession? Uh, mayor's son. Mayor's son. Mayor's son. Ah... You know, we'll we'll let him do this search trained. He can roll an intelligence check trained. <laughs> He's like rooting, rooting through grime. Okay. Uh, if he's if he's the mayor's son, he might have some learning. So he might, might have a little bit of have, learning. Have have a book smart. All right, Cameron, your uh, your characters. Okay. So. Uh... Leonard, after he drops the rope, he's gonna cock back his bow and try to uh, try to hit one of the one of the flying little ghosties. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I believe this is the correct input. Whether that actually does anything or not. Uh, yeah, your arrow kind of flies kind of right by one, maybe through one. You're not really sure. Uh, didn't, didn't look like it's... It doesn't look like these attacks are doing a whole heck of a lot of damage, really, to these things. All right, and then Addison, she's going to kneel beside the well wall, trying to take some cover, and she's going to, like, look down and be like, Get that rope up here! Oh yeah, but we need the rope! And okay. Adolis, he's going to search around the cabin to try to see if he can find anything useful. Okay, okay, so Adolis is uh, searching the cabin. Go ahead and uh, roll uh, an intelligence check for him. Trained or untrained? Uh, what is he? He is a woodcutter. It's a, I mean, it's a it's a regular house. We'll say trained. Okay. All right. So he's uh, he's he's trying to do a search while he's in there. Okay. Is that all your characters? That would be it. All right. Jay, what are your people doing? Well, what is the reaction from the fiddling, first off? <laughs> well, you're not sure about the reaction from the phantoms themselves, but the people are certainly energized by your fiddling. You're feeling it. Well, if I'm feeling it, I shall... Um, hmm... Let me look at my character real quick. <laughs> there's not there's not much character. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to see some attributes that may like to make like kind of like help me mentally get the idea of what this character is going to do. Um, okay. There's not a lot of attributes there. He's not very smart. Um, he. Die, Satan, die. Die, Satan, die. Yeah, he's, probably going, he's probably not going to do too much other than, than continue to fiddle, but might change the tune um, and play some staccato. Oh, good so, lord. Okay, um, so if he's, if he's changing it up a little bit, uh, let's have him roll another personality, also trained roll, because he's, he's kind of, he's switching it up, so... Dang, still oh, pretty hot. Yeah. He's he's still got it. Okay, 
All right. So that's what he's doing. So he's he's keeping it up. He's changing the tune, but he's he's still uh, he's still got it. He's still feeling it hard. And uh, what about your um, what did, the fucking guy that was banging the hammer against the the uh, well? The blacksmith is is feeling that is his arm is starting to get heavy. Is this to hurt? Yeah, him? yeah. It's definitely he's starting to get that vibration. It's, 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 yeah, this is meant for metal. It's not meant for like like a stone. So. Yeah, he's going to start heading towards um, this house that is over here, um, upper left house. Um, upper. He's going to see if he can find this one some... over here. Yes. Okay. Because um, he he's he's kind of like not sure what's going uh, of what to do, and he's going to see if he can find some like something to beat. To other beat than other than himself he's gonna go find his meat yeah. he's, he's found his meat so he's he can, okay he can some 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 armory uh something something to use against these spirits and also some food because he's he's hungry okay okay so he's headed towards that house so he make he starts making his way there where is the all yes. right so he's probably going to get about halfway there. Um, as he's headed to that house, have that guy make a uh, have that guy make an intelligence an intelligence check. Living on a prayer. Trained or untrained? Yeah, trained. Okay. All right. So he's headed there. Uh, let's see. What it, the other guy. What's the other guy doing? Um, their guy is probably still. St it's just now the stun is laying off of him, for like hearing these horrible noises from the house. Yeah, yeah, because that guy's like over here, right? Yeah. Like, on this in this other house, this this bottom so left house. So he's gonna head towards the graveyard. Okay. All right. And so that guy's headed towards the graveyard. Yeah. And he's going to see, I guess he's going over that way to see if, uh, is that guy still there? Or is he dead? Uh, this guy over here, he's, the, this guy like there ran back. Way. This guy's back to the well. So there's nobody over the graveyard anymore. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of abandoned. So he's going to ignore all this other stuff going on, like over by the well. Cause like, obviously there's like all kinds of craziness. And it's like, if he's walking around this house here, he's going to see, well, I What's... didn't know because I thought there was someone still at the graveyard. No, no, no. There's nobody at the graveyard. So I guess I'll be heading towards the wells. Okay. Because so I he... honestly thought there was someone at the graveyard. So. All right. So he's headed back towards the action then. Yeah. So I okay. don't know how you want to do it if you want to backtrack my character because I never made that action yet. No, that's fine. Yeah. That's Dude, fine. Put him right there or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine if you're like headed back towards the. Uh... <clears throat> the well and that was the last of your characters right yes okay all right so a girl, i don't know what happened to the little girl or the other guy they're dead yeah i know but i'm saying i don't yeah your character doesn't like the character doesn't know okay dan your characters who are up around the well uh, okay so jedediah has well you know it's not your turn who do you got there uh, Jedediah and, uh, Jesse. Who's got the crap luck? Jesse. Jesse. Uh, one of the things flies over to Jesse and latches on to him and starts a sucking and does two damage. Jesse's dead. It sucks Jesse's life force out of him, and he's like, <sighs> his eyes shrivel up, and he shrivels up like a husk of corn, and he just falls to the ground and kind of, <sighs> and for a second, the phantom gets face like a man, like a person, it looks energized, and uh, that one flees back into the forest. Another one. A 
another one makes its way back, flies into the window of this house up here, and oh Jesus! As uh, as he's searching around in the house, this thing flies through and like just barely misses him. I mean, it flies right between him and Sally. And then flies right back out the door. And then... Uh, Garrett, where are your people? Uh, you know, Besides Ingrid, John. Yeah, they're just right there beside the well. Right there? Who's got the worst luck? Uh, let's see. Uh, Athena, she has ten. All right. The last one flies towards Athena, latches onto her, and starts to suck her life force away, doing three damage. She has two. And Athena shrivels up into a little husk. Her life force sucked out of her. You see the twisted face of a lady looking shud folk for just a second in the phantom. And then that re phantom retreats back into the woods. Oh my god, brutal. Can Jedediah hit one of them before they leave? Nah, his his initiative was terrible. He tries, but they're just gone. Hmm. So there are no phantoms out there now. Nope. Ah. He doesn't know what to do. He's just kind of standing there with his pitchfork in his hand like he doesn't know what to do. Um, but in the well... Uh, Fred is just going to stand up. Well, let's go ahead and uh, see what everybody's doing for their turn. Uh, Let me go ahead that's and start my with initiative. You. That's no, fine. you're the 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 encounter's over, Dan. Hmm. The encounter's done. We're back to turns. So, and you said your characters were just like, <laughs> I mean, they didn't really have a chance to like do any. It's seconds now turn to minutes, so yeah. it it doesn't okay. matter. So, uh, Garrett, what are your characters now doing that it's like? Seems like they're going. All right, down to two. Uh, if the falconer is not trying to throw a rope up, he's gonna try to. Well, did you find anything in that stick monster? I guess. Uh, yeah, that's what he was doing. He did not find anything in the stick monster. Uh, once he turns around and and sees the falconer, the falconer is looks like the falconer is trying to attach the rope to his falcon oh, that's smart. to okay. get the falcon to fly the rope back up so that's what he's doing in the well yes good thinking falconer uh, then he's yeah there's nothing else really i think he wants okay. to do down there what about your characters up top uh phantoms have disappeared for now uh um hey everyone we need to get we need to get everyone out of this well get into a house and stick together let's get them out of here real quick all right wait a minute stop collaborate it's, and it's listen still initiative there's still a phantom left where how is there you still said, a phantom left you said there was a phantom in the house it flew out it flew out there are no phantoms say? left. Dan, I'm telling you, where the initiative is over, the encounter okay. is over. No, but we're I mean, I'm still over there ghosts. seeing ghosts. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I, didn't hear the, I heard the phantom miss him, but I didn't hear him fly out. Yeah, yeah, it flew out of the it house. It missed and flew out. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe if you weren't pay, like sitting looking at your phone, Dan, then uh, you. Oh, might, I've got I've got work you people texting. You might know me, what's so. going. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, have, I I actually have work people test. I look at my I look at my phone when no one can see my. Of I'm course, obviously. Yeah. I know Harrison's probably playing Smash during. 
Anyway, um, all right, Garrett. So, uh, what are your other two characters doing? That was my two characters. Oh yeah, so they're 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 basically just like, hey, we got to get everybody together, the rope. What about your then, characters, Dan? The the ones that are uh, up here. Well, up the only top. one up here is, is Jedediah, and he is he's now gone over to the edge of the well to look down to see what he can do. Okay. Like <laughs> like if if he can see, you know, he's just basically looking down to see what he can do. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, the guy called uh, the falconer calls up Dexter. He says, uh, "He says I'm gonna send the rope up with my bird." Okay, so I need to do something though. I actually had a plan down there for the two of them. Fred was just gonna stand up, but Ginny was gonna stay under the water for a second to try to find the pitchfork. Oh, she's looking for the. Okay, okay. It's pretty. I'm gonna say it's gonna be pretty easy to find the pitchfork. Okay. The pitchfork okay. is going to be pretty, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you find the pitchfork. She finds the pitchfork. And okay. um, I guess then everybody else is down there waiting for the Falcon to figure out what's going on. All right, what are, what are your uh, characters doing, Cameron, for the turn? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> After the, the ghost flies out of the house, it was, runs over and he slams the window shut. And uh, he's going to make sure everything's battened down and continue searching. Um, okay. He see. notices there in this house, uh, there's a loft. I don't know if he came into this house before. Uh, no, no, actually, he didn't because he's, he's new. So he, he's yeah. like, first, there's a loft in this house. And he's noticed there's like, it almost looks like a child has drawn like just just this big like pictograph mural mural like on the ceiling of the house wow okay it's like probably the the weirdest feature it's like it kind of stands out you're like well that's weird does it depict anything like interesting or yeah yeah is he gonna go up into the loft and check kind of check it out sure if he's not gonna he's just looking around for general stuff Okay, uh, Sally's gonna be like, "Oh, what's that?" And she's she'll go up and and kind of look with him. Um, uh, what about your uh, anybody else? Your other oh, uh, let's see, Leonard and Addison. Uh, now that the ghosts have fled back into the forest. Um, they're just going to try to help the people in the well again. So they're okay. waiting for the rope from the falcon. <clears throat> All right, and Jay, your characters. Um, they're proceeding to get to each one is proceeding to get to uh, one's getting to the well, one's getting to a house. Yeah. So this guy headed. This guy, the one guy, was headed to this house up here, right? right. So he gets up yeah. to that house, and he's gonna go inside. What is he gonna do when he's inside? I guess if something doesn't attack him, uh, and he doesn't automatically die. Um, he's going to start looking around and searching the house. Okay, so he's up in there searching. All right, cool, cool. And um, then uh, the, there guy. was... Uh... There's a guy going towards the well. Okay. Which is... He's my oldest character now. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's kind of going to meet up with the other people. Okay, see what's going on at the well. Yes. All right. Um, and then the other character... Is well, I, I'm guessing he's enjoying the reverberation sound coming from the well, so he's going to lean down and start fiddling down the well. <laughs> fiddling down the well, I got gotcha. yes. <laughs> And he's going to be like, <laughs> All right, all right, so let's go ahead and first of all, let's go ahead and handle. All the people at the well. So the falcon flies up with the rope and kind of kind of lands. Uh, let's see. We'll say. The falcon lands on uh, on Gregoot. 
and it's got the it's got like the end of the rope he's gonna grab the rope and uh how wide is that well about yeah i mean it's you know it's like what good like four feet all right so if i was able to run the rope around the base of the well and tie it to itself would there still be enough for them to grab on at the bottom That's a math problem. Well, it's pi, pi d. If you said four, so it's 12 yeah, feet. Yeah, it so. subtracts 12 feet. So 12 feet, what did we say? The rope I, we said was, I thought we said it was 25. Or no, thir- uh, the rope was 30, and it was 20 feet to the water. So the rope's 30, that gives you 18 feet Hey, you could do it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you could so. do it. You could do it, but the the people would then ha- like there would be no rope to like wrap around you or like make a loop or anything. Like the people at the at the bottom of the well would have to pretty much use their own strength to climb up. Okay. Um, oh, I'm just gonna try to get rally people to hold on, and help pull up, and that's what he's doing get people help pull up uh let's see what's uh what's gregoot's intelligence you sure it's garbage yes it's six (laughs) 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 so he's just kind of rallying people who is uh who up here is smart is there anybody who's who's kind of intelligent up here um, I feel like you got you. Do you you have some? Jed, Jed, Jed has an eleven. You still got some, some farmers people. and stuff, right? Like, I mean, these well, these, these people are peasants. Well, I feel like if you kind of organize together, everybody realizes that if if everybody yeah. just kind of grabs the rope and the, you have the strongest people, that you won't really have to worry about the top. It's the bottom that you really have to worry about. You have to figure out. Specifically, always the, the bottom, maybe the top. Yeah, specifically the friar. Um, Dexter, the guy who's the uh, the falconer, he's uh, he is um, he's gonna try and climb this rope, and uh, he's up the rope. So Dexter made it up, and he's like, "It's not that hard, Fred." Fred, come on, you got this. Fred is going to help Ginny get to the rope so she can climb the rope. Okay. Trained or untrained for a climb? Ah, uh, trained. Train. We'll we'll say you know these people be be climbing some. Jenny s- struggles, struggles. Oh, but Fred Fred is pushing her. Struggles, but Jenny is just barely able to get up the rope. Okay. With some help. What about uh? Who else is down there? Oh. Well, uh, besides Fred, you get John. Is John gonna go before, or is he gonna? A- he's gonna try and go up before Fred or after Fred? He's gonna try to go up after Fred. Give Fred some assistance or a step up if he needs it. Okay. Is All Fred right. gonna try and get up this? Uh... Yeah. So Fred's gonna try to get up. Okay. <laughs> huffing yeah, and man. puffing red faced Fred makes it bitches makes it up flops <laughs> over the side of the well <sighs> clasping the, the ring of the sovereign that, that, that he just <laughs> got down there in his hands and uh, so John is lone down in the well yeah now he's climbing up 
All right. Go ahead and make a uh, strength check for him. Untrained. And John makes it up the well, and everybody is now back up. <sighs> so, so those, gonna... those people are basically yeah. done. Okay, so now let's go over and... Jay, you had this guy over up in this house, and he was all by himself, right? The dude mm -hmm. over here. Probably all right. some dead bodies in there. Um, What is he? What what is that character? Um, the the character ran over there is the Tanner, I believe. The, the Tanner, okay. Yeah, which house? Which house? Uh, this this, this house upper upper left. That's the blacksmith. That's the blacksmith. Oh no, that's the, okay. The blacksmith went over there. Okay, so the blacksmith headed over there. Uh, go ahead and roll a uh, go ahead and roll a an intelligence check. Uh, trained for the blacksmith. Yeah, the bus in the house. Cause he's yeah, he's cause he's searching around, right? He's like in the house searching yes, around. Yes, he is. Intelligence. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So he gets in that house and uh and uh he's searching around and uh. The one thing that he notices right as before he goes up to the house is that there's this weird symbol on the front of this house. It's got like a uh let's see. It kinda looks like oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. That's a square. Looks like a place in the grass. Nah, hang on. It kind of looks like... A dick in the dark? Now yes. my color changed back. You... Damn you, roll 20. kind of looks like that mm. and it's like it's like right here like right so not yet not quite a completed pentagram it's like right there like right on the front of the house <clears throat> yeah you think you may have seen that symbol before um and then when you go in the house <clears throat> and uh you're looking around. Um, you, uh, <laughs> what was he? Is was he looking for anything specific? Um, food. Um, he's just shuffling, like rifling around the entire house, looking for like anything, like food. Also, like anything he can use as a weaponry, because he's a blacksmith. You would probably recognize something that he made for other people um items like that are made out of metal <laughs> uh he is a he found a hatchet oh hell yeah and um a hoe and a frying pan oh i'm gonna take that air frying pan i'll leave the rest all right, it's a big cast iron frying pan. I'm kidding. I'll take the hatchet. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. Um, yeah, probably do more damage, maybe. All right. Hatchet and, probably uh, like one before. Let's see. And then over here in this house over here, Cameron, you got a character, and Harrison has a character over there. You were checking out a mural that was drawn on the um that was drawn on the uh on the ceiling, ceiling the there wall. yeah so it's uh 
the uh it's got this depiction of somebody maybe of uh, a holy sort coming into this little this little town this little dwelling here and uh it looks like the the people took this person tortured them hung them up in the cornfield oh my god broke their walking stick and tossed something of theirs down into the well and it's this like child's drawing but it's this brutal depiction of these people torturing this person jesus no wonder this place is haunted Okay. And uh, as you're like looking at this stuff, your eyes drift downwards, and amongst the the toys of the the child that clearly was housed at one point up here, there's a there's a doll, but the doll looks like somebody that you know. Pickles. Pickles? Yeah. Somebody at the wedding named Pickles? Is this the person that was tortured or. Blank? Yeah. Shlanky. Blank characters. Yeah, you feel like. You feel like this doll. Looks exactly like a, a buddy of yours, Shlanky Pickles, who was at the wedding. And then they die. Did you? Did somebody tell you that though? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't. didn't oh. You, oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they did tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. Somebody just told you like a few minutes ago that Schlanky was dead, but now there's this this straw doll about eight inches tall that looks just like Schlanky Pickles, like exactly like him. That's horrifying. Uh, is there anyone else? Or is it just Schlanky? Just slanky that you can see here. Huh. I don't know if I want to mess with that, honestly. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that's, that's creeping me out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Was there anybody in any of the... In the well, obviously, nobody in that house. Well, everybody in that house is dead. There wasn't anybody down here in this house, in, in uh, this lower right-hand house, right? John went in it, but I mean, current, currently, yeah, no, currently. Okay, all right, all right. So back to the people at the well. So we're in a new turn now. So about ten minutes has passed, and uh, back to the uh, back to the folks at the well. Uh, somebody at the well seems to be trying to get everybody together. So what are you all doing at the well? Because you're all up now. Everybody's up. Who's who's getting us together? Uh, wasn't that uh, Ragu? Ragu was like, yeah, Ragu, Ragu, <laughs> Ragu, <laughs> the, the big Ragu. It's big, Car- you know, Carmine Frost trying it's, to get everyone's it's, attention. It's Car- Carmine, the big Ragu. He's not a smart man, but he's trying to get. He's trying to get everybody together. We got to pull together. So We got to pull together and eat some ragu. <laughs> okay. Well, let's hear what he has to say. We keep getting picked off. We need to stick together. We're safer in groups. We also need to get out of this field and get into safety in some building. That sounds like a good idea. I don't know exactly... What the hell happened while I was uh, inebriated? But uh, I don't like the look of these things. And uh, that girl over there, she freeled up like a raisin. And I don't want that happening to me. So, where to? Which one of these houses is the biggest? Uh, They kind of all look the same. Yeah, they look all about the same. The last time they came, I hid in the corn, 
and they didn't see me. I don't know if us hiding in the corn maybe is our best option. I'm going to go into one of these houses. See well, if, uh, uh, maybe he's onto something, though. What, what if they're scared of that scarecrow up there? Scarecrow? Yeah, that, that scarecrow yonder up there, on top. Oh, yeah, there is a scarecrow in there, isn't it? In it. Um, in, in it. it. In <laughs> it. So while all this is happening, Jenny is actually has gone over to the husk of Jesse, is removing his leather armor. and There's no sword. leather armor. Oh, no, it's gone? Yeah, it sucked up everything. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it like, just... totally, yeah, totally screwed him what up. What about the sword? What about the sword? Um, let's see. He dropped his sword. Sword's on the ground. Sword's fair game. Nice. So, Jenny picks up the sword and says, who wants it? Because now she's got a pitchfork. And she saw what that pitchfork did. So she's got a pitchfork. She picks up the sword and says, who wants this? I can take it. I, I haven't okay. wielded a sword before, but I worked around them quite enough to know. So so your sword is 1d6. Damage. It's a short sword. It is 1d6 damage. And now Jesse is dead with no, no leather... No leather armor, so I'm going to remove just completely now. Yeah. Jesse is trash. Well, all you people so. hanging around there, what, what, where are you going? Are you just kind of sitting around gabbing? Are we just going to sit around talking, or are we going to go somewhere? That's the falconer. Have we been in this house in the bottom left? Has anyone been in there? No. Has uh, anyone been in this house in the left? I'll, I'm asking. Uh, uh, Jed, Jed speaks up and says, saw people go in, but I never saw anybody come out. That's uh, the house where the orphan disappeared. You know, they, they might, they, they might, uh, that might lead to like someplace. And someone should go in there. Are, well, that's where we should investigate first. Are that's you, where I'm going. Are you going to tell them that they people walked in and screamed? I think you actually said that. The character actually did say that before, but I don't know if anybody heard them. Well, I no. The, anybody heard I, them. Actually, I remember last year, last week is like Jesse or JT's character that survived. Mm -hmm. Her actually did hear them scream and saw blood come out from the door. I think. Oh, I saw blood come out from the You didn't door, see but... blood come out, but you heard him scream, and then have, like it yeah. went, it stopped, and everything. But mm -hmm. saying, so. but did you? Are you telling people that? Um, I'll tell them. I heard some the people, the two people went. I'm not like a mean person, so what's 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 my character like? <laughs> my character. My character is. His intelligence is eight. He's got a good agility and he's got good luck. What? What are you just? Did Wait you tell them or did not? You, it's did not you give that, him an alignment? Did you I give him an alignment? Because my personality is not the best in the world, and my intelligence is not the best in the world. But it's not horrid. I just have a, a couple minuses. I'll explain in the best of tongues that I can. I was standing outside the door with and then um some kid walked in, the guy every person walked in. I heard like room hour. And um the, I was like, fuck. And I was, so I just thought I'd come back over this way. I could go the dang old door man got hold up blood and I error man. Terrible man. It's... Oh pretty much, pretty much like boom hour would do it. The Falconer is like uh we people went in that house before there's some other people in that house i think i'm going into that house and uh the falconer and uh is headed to 
this house up here with uh with Sally, Harrison's other character, and uh and uh what's Adelis. your character? Adelis. Monster, do you not see the uh do you not see the text of where all my characters are? Like what's the role? I do, but it's like it's I see so I'm, it's name. like it's small. I uh, in in uh, on my map I don't have it like zoomed in very far. Right but now? I see it now, yeah. <laughs> what's what's going that? On? Like whose turn is it right now? I'm confused. Well, I'm asking you, like the people, the people who's it's it's the turn of the people who are in, by the. The, the well i'm asking right, what the people by the well are cool. doing are you yeah, are you can, literally you just can, having this yeah. conversation or is anybody doing anything that's why i said you, that you should actually go in order you should just, you should just think and go in order down, my character that came from the one house i heard to yelling is going to go in another house or go towards another house hopefully to get away from these you get these things flying around well, my okay. question though is that it sounded like somebody was trying to get the group together and have like a group conversation about it, but then that didn't happen. So like that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what are your characters doing? Are they still are they still scattered and like not? I mean, I'm just gonna assume that nobody's communicating and that you you're all still scattered because everybody doesn't I'm seem to be really drunk. And then like. These things are flying at us, so I think we're probably a little disheveled. Um, uh, does anyone have to take charge of the group? Who's got the most... There's some silence again, and then you hear... Ka-ka! Ka-ka! Wait, into the cornfield. That seemed to work before. That's where Greg Roots immediately run into the cornfield. Yeah, it's Ginny initiative. And, Ginny and Jed are going to run to the cornfield. Uh... I'm running towards the closest house. Whoa. Shit. Run towards making some Damn initiative it. right now. <laughs> you forgetting to click on my character. I'm running towards death. Uh, with hey, hey, Steve. Hmm. I cannot. Is that, is that a deviled egg? Oh, is that a deviled egg? <laughs> Yeah, I made some devil's eggs the other nice. day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a early. long, long time. I love devil's eggs. What goes in devil's eggs besides like mayonnaise and like the egg yolk and mustard and paprika? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's pretty so, much it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I, I like putting so, a little bit of jalapeno. I do salt, pepper, and hot sauce along with that. But what's the ratio of like of like mayonnaise and mustard that you put into it? Jay, you're up. By the way, your characters. Okay. Oh, well, my one character's in the house. I was looking for stuff and got the hatchet. Okay, so that character's kind of probably unawares of what's going yeah, on. Yeah. The people that are outside that heard the the the, the calling. Here, I guess whatever was going towards the well, I guess it got to the well because he, he was telling people about that. Yeah, house. yeah, he was at the well. Yeah, he was at so, the well. He's going to make it a uh, a beeline for, um, I guess, this house over this way um, to the bottom right. Bottom right, okay. Yes, I don't know how far, how long you can get in this action, but that's what he's going to be doing. Uh, that's close. You can get to that house within your action. Okay, well, he's, within his action, he's going to go down to that house and look at the door. And he heard some scream from the other house on the other People side. We're in there. We're going to say the door to that house is actually open at the moment. There, so he'll peer in there before, of course, he takes takes a step inside or okay. whatever. So we'll say that um, was his action. He's able to run, yeah. get to the door, and kind of look in. Uh, what about oh, your... Uh, this guy's over here. What about your last person? The fiddler is the going fiddler. to be... He, he's getting pretty... Uh, his fingers are fiddling. He's getting pretty pretty tired of fiddling. He's been I fiddling this whole time. time. Oh, no way. <laughs> 
Please the question just kept going. Oh my god. No, no wonder nobody was talking. That's why nobody was talking, because this fiddler's just going crazy. <laughs> Over the cacophony of the yeah. like, fiddle. So, Alright, uh, so what is he doing? <laughs> well he he's gonna see someone he's he's gonna go over to the house to, to pay to pay homage to his cousin's sister's brother's wife's brother. Uncle Jed or Jed's sisters, whatever, that died on pickles n- nipples. Whatever. Oh my God, well, where is right. he going? <laughs> just just <laughs> where? He's going, he's going to the upper right house where that where the where the guy died. Okay, okay, but he's going he into was, the house, right? Or well, no? He's going to play a sorrow song over his body. So he's going behind the house. No, because the guy died on the front porch. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The, the guy did die on the porch. So he's oh, my going, gosh. He's going, to, he's going to do, like, the song for the guy <laughs> over his body. All right. So he fiddles his way over to this house, but doesn't go inside. Okay, well, I got it. Yeah, he's, so he lays off his fiddle until he gets to the house, and then he's going to wait. And his action is going to be to fiddle over the, the, the crusty body. I gotcha. I understood. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> Why do I hear music right outside the door? Yeah. I'm kind of like, my God. So, uh, after looking at uh, the mural, he's going to, like, peek his head out the window, kind of see that things have settled down. He hears someone on, uh, someone on his doorstep. And he sees this man playing the fiddle on the porch. This is not a step. That's a stoop. Uh, sorry, the door stoop. And, uh, he probably okay. doesn't see things people settling down though because he probably sees the beginning of people starting to like scatter and run likely because kind of this is all kind of happening at the same time so people are like, kind of scattering so so yeah he kind of sees people well obviously some people said they were going to the cornfield so uh, people are scattering obviously well, what about your what about your characters that are that are at the well um let's see because those are the main ones that I don't know. I don't know if my characters are convinced entirely that the cornfield is the safest place to be. Um, but I would think that getting farther away from the edge of the forest is a good idea. So Leonard's going to go down to this bottom left house, and uh, Addison uh, they're going to split up, and she's going to go to the top left. Okay. All right. So they head to the uh, to those houses, and um, probably not probably not quite yeah probably like maybe just making it close to the house, but not quite to the house. Um, and then uh, let's see, Dan. Your okay. characters go at the same time that the phantoms appear. All right. Oh, shit. Okay, so... All right, Jenny is running full force toward the cornfield. Okay. To full force towards the cornfield. She is running full at full tilt okay. toward the cornfield. So if she's running full speed, she's probably can go and I mean full tilt, she probably get to about here. Probably gets to about here. Okay. Now Jed, on the other hand, is not running full tilt because Jed is a gentleman farmer. He's tur- he's kinda he's kinda running but looking over his shoulder so he can protect Jenny. So he's you know probably I mean? only gonna make it about here. Right, but but he's he's but like he's ready to like defend himself. Yeah. Okay. Or her. He's kind of yeah yeah yeah. I gotcha. Okay. And then Fred on Fred. Fred on the other Fred on the other hand is completely and utterly worn out from the climb. He is uh... lean, He is on his ass, leaned on, like leaning up against the well. But knows these things are out there, so he's grabbed that old holy symbol. Hmm. And he is waiting. 
and he's going to and he's he's going to rebuke. So that's Fred's action. Fred is going to rebuke with the old holy system with the the one he found. Is is he is but he's gonna is he gonna do it from the ground or is he gonna stand? Uh let's see. Let's see. He is going to He's he's gonna try to prop himself up to do it. Tired. Okay, so he's kind of he's the, sliding himself up halfway up, kind of sliding himself up mm-hmm. the wall of the thing. But then he's gonna re- he's gonna try and, and uh, yeah, make a uh, make a personality check. Trained. <sighs> All right, so he's like, and the uh, one. Of the uh, phantoms that comes out, just completely like turns back into the woods. Okay. And it like turns away from some of those people. Now. Okay. There is a phantom headed up towards Addison. And that phantom latches onto her back just as she gets to the house and starts to suck the life out of her. And she receives, oh, four damage. Oh, damn. So I think four damage is probably enough to be the death of her yeah. is that accurate yeah so she 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 shrivels so up Addison? yeah this uh over here Rip. yeah she shrivels up and and uh and just falls to the ground actually falls onto the porch she uh Actually, hang on. Did I say, let me take that back. Did I say that she was up on the porch already? Uh, I don't know. I think Had you said she, mostly like she's just getting to the house. She's just like, getting to the house. Let me let you do this. Make an agility check. Trained or untrained. All right, she's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to, uh, I to, I wanted to see something. Okay, yeah, yeah. She shrivels. She just doesn't quite make it to the porch, and she shrivels up and kind of collapses in front of it. And then. Uh... In the worst wedding ever. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, one of the phantoms comes towards... Dan, who's your character that's huffing it? Jenny. That's the one. Jenny. But it actually misses her. How do you move your... Can you move these words? Sure. You select How? it and move it. How do I select it? Um, you just select it with the pointer and then you just move it. Oh, I got it. You have to be on oh, select okay. move, not pan. I, you have to, you okay, have to be I on the it. pointer, not the not the I, I, finger. Yeah, I figured I figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And so yes, uh, Garrett. All right. In Groot's mind, he was running to the field. Um, so, full tilt. Yep, full force. Was that sixty? Okay. Yeah. All right, that's where he's getting. Oop. Uh, I don't know if John was convinced. He might be. 
Yeah, John's convinced. That's where he's he's doing the same thing. Uh, full sixty. What? Yeah, that's what they're doing. Just running to the field. Okay. All right. Uh, and then. All right. So Falconer had gone into this house with Sally and then uh, Harrison's other guy is probably we're going to say he's run into the field too. Yeah. Yeah. With everybody else. All right, uh, and then it's initiative again. Shit, were my, they're all the same number. Oh, one lower, nice. Oh, who were my, but I'll try. Did you just say, I don't know where I'm at? Yeah. I pretty don't much. know where I am. Thinking something like that. I try to click my character, but I think I clicked arrows. Oh, I didn't mean to do two handed initiative for him. Oh. It doesn't matter. I did the two handed initiative the other the other time and left it. What's it like to do a two handed initiative? I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a glass yeah. bottom boat, but uh, <laughs> you know, hotter. Uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, uh, Cameron, you're up. Right. Man. <clears throat> so, um, Angelus is gonna stay inside the house. You see, things pretty safe in here. Um. Leonard is just going to get to this house. He's going to fling open the door. Um, probably close it behind him. Uh, this this one down here. All right, yeah. So he's he jumps into that house. Oh the oh no, this one down here. Leonard. Okay, he opens the door. Leonard opens the door. Runs in the house. The door slams behind him. He sees this giant tongue. It wraps around him, and the whole place fills with stomach acid, and Leonard is instantly devoured uh, by oh my this God. house down here in uh, at 1-1. Right, that is that house. <laughs> so, yep. uh, yeah. Set out. Leonard runs in there and is, uh, is immediately killed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is dissolved, and then... And, 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 at this so point, that, so at this two black characters last time. Yeah, at this point, uh, you know, some of these characters here probably heard him go in the house, heard him scream, saw the house shudder, and then kind of go. <laughs> yeah. Now you really know. Don't go in that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that was that guy. Uh, and then uh. Dan. All right. So. Dan. Okay. So first of all, your people are right there, Jenny and Jed. Have uh, have Jed. Actually, have both Jenny and Jed make an intelligence check. Jenny, Jed. Uh, trained or untrained? Go ahead and let them do trained. Trained. Right. <laughs> trained. And Jed, he's not as smart as Jenny. So Jenny noticed as she was running past that house up here, this first house, <clears throat> that the girl that got killed right in front of that house, it's the phantom sucked her up. And then it looked like it was going to go into the house. 
And as soon as it got to that house, it kind of went like this and then flew away. Okay. But did it fly into the woods? It flew like, back. Like, the, like it like flew back way. this way, so she can't see it anymore. Like it flew back, t like kind of back around the back of the house, like back to the north. So okay. she stopped being able to see it. Okay. She just so, saw it fly away. Plus, she's running full tilt, so she saw this while she's running. Mm -hmm. So if she saw that while she's running, she's going to change directions a little bit. And instead of heading toward this section here, she's going to she's gonna change directions so that she's a little closer to that house, but okay. still headed toward the corn. Okay. So at full, at full tilt, would she make it there, do you yes. think? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, by by this room, she'd probably make it like right about here. All right, so that's where she's going to end up. Jed, okay, is the other phantom the one that attacked Jenny? Is that close enough that Jed can get a, an attack on it? If he's right, right there, right behind her, yeah, I'm sure. So that is what Jed's going to do. Okay. So Jed is going to attack that phantom with a pitchfork. Okay. All right. He's like, he's kind of going like this. He's not sure if he hit it or not, but, uh, you know, he's kind of stopped and it, but it's, it's still flying around here for sure. All right. And then we all know what Fred's going to do. Fred finally gets himself stood up and is using that holy symbol again. More intelligence. Okay, or so the one real? the one that he rebuked already kind of flew back this way. Is he gonna is he gonna He's point gonna... that to this yeah. this other direction towards where where everybody's yeah. towards the cornfield? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, a personality check. Damn, Fred! All right, so Fred's like holding the thing, and. Uh, the one that uh, John tried to attack, it also kind of flies. It kind of flies. Or, yeah, Jed. Yeah, yeah, Jed. Sorry. All these J names. It, it kind of <laughs> flies around the house, too, back towards this way. So okay. Jenny sees this one kind of fly in, and it kind of flies into the, into the <laughs> forest over here. Okay. And uh, and then for a moment, things seem like they settle down again. Well, damn. It's still running. Greg, it's still running straight into that. Yeah, is everybody that's still running continue, continuing to, to their action, continuing to run? Does Jed yeah. can like does Jed meet up with Ginny over here? Well, Jed stopped to fight, so Jed actually didn't run. Jed, but gonna... is he gonna turn around and and uh, make his way over there? Yeah, he's gonna start making his way over this way. He's gonna now that he doesn't see either of them, and he he thinks he chased it away because he stabbed at it and it ran, so gotcha, he thinks he gotcha. chased it away. So that's that's. How you know what he's actually? Let do. me just go in order. Garrett, what uh, what are your characters doing? Still running, Fred? Yep. Or I mean, shit, uh, uh, G uh G John and Gregoot. Gregoot, yeah. Still running uh, to the cornfield. Immediately, they just want to get to the cornfield, but Gregoot really wants to get up to the scarecrow. That's his long-term oh. objective. Okay, okay, got it. And uh. John's gonna stick with it. My sister's uncle's mother's pappy that ate apples for a living. What? It's... What? Ah, <laughs> okay. His family relations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, okay, so that's what your guys are doing. Okay, and uh, Dan, Jenny, and Jed again. What is Jed doing? Is he come going back towards Jenny? Yeah, he's gonna go back towards Jenny. A living. What? I have no idea what hey, that is. Yeah, what are you doing, man? What? We can hear something coming from some audio coming from you. 
Sounds like a text to speech of just yeah, saying... yeah, just weird shit. Yeah, Jay's just trolling is all. <laughs> anyway, no, so Dan, no, what I'm are you doing? What is uh? I wasn't trolling. I, I found a thing that was text to speech online. <laughs> okay. And I was like, I was just, I was like, oh, this is cool when I did something with Jed. I see. <laughs> hmm. So okay, so Jenny and Jed are meeting up. Jed is gonna kind of hover about right here. Jenny's going to stay in the cornfield for a few minutes to make sure that everybody, to make sure that, uh, <clears throat> let, let me ask you this, Garrett, what was that? is, is, uh, Garrett, is yeah. Garut going to communicate his intentions to everybody that's around him? Because I feel like everybody that's gotten to the cornfield, kind of probably there, ish in the same. This is, I mean, you know, this is not far. They're not far from each other. Is he going to try and communicate, or is he just going? Yeah, if if I have more than turn, um, I would say I want to check out that scarecrow up there. I don't think we've taken a look at it yet. Yeah, I mean, it turns like ten minutes, so this is all kind of okay, happening yeah. within that within that time. Okay. Yeah, is anybody turn, else yes. heading to the cornfield? Dan, what is your what's Fred doing? Uh, I think Fred is going to finally decide he's going to go into a house. This is the closest one, so that's where Fred is headed. Okay. All right. So Fred Fred is going to head into this house as long as like he feels like all of the spirits have gone away. Yeah. That's, that's what he's going to do. At least for so now. Fred, yeah, so Fred's going to head there. Okay. Cameron. Um, well, I was actually going to take off towards the cornfield once I saw it settled down again. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure how entirely safe we are, and we can't last forever in this. So, uh, um, who, Let who, me... who was that specific? <clears throat> Just my one character left, Adalus. That's all. Oh, God, you're down to one. Damn. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's see. I'm going to look around for any salt, if the family had any salt in the house. Okay. You're looking around for salt, and the, uh, the friar shows up at the house. What's the, f what's the situation out there? Well, I think we scared him off again, but we really need to find a way out of here. Why'd everyone run towards the field? Well, from what I could gather, I felt safe in the cornfield. Now, again, you, uh, Adalus, saw those drawings. He knows that the uh, in the in the drawings depicted the the uh, the person that was kind of tortured was tied up yeah. in in the cornfield. Take a look at this these drawings here, Fred. Right. I think maybe Fred? the cornfield maybe the cornfield is the way to go. So Fred is going to look at the drawings. So Fred takes a look at the drawings. The drawings look as a child's drawings. They depict somebody looks like a a holy person coming into this uh, this little hollow, and uh, apparently the residents of this hollow didn't like it. They uh, so so Fred being a holy person himself. Is there anything depicting what kind of holy person this per this this? It's it's hard to tell because it's a child's drawing, but it appears mm -hmm. that they broke the person's staff. They took something from them, a ring, depicted as a ring, and tossed it into the well. And then they tortured this person. You think it was a female, a, a woman, and they uh, they tied her up in that cornfield. And left her mm. there to die. And even though it's a child's depiction, it I mean it looks pretty horrible what they did to this person. So 
Do you think this means that the cornfield is the way out? Well, we can't just stay inside this house forever. I don't I know, maybe... but the, uh, this, this, this stick is, uh, I think I, f- I found it over in that house. It's the Hawthorne it... walking stick. It's broken in half. It looks like a, whoa, a stick that was broken in half. I think it might uh, be special. Can I see that for a second? She gives you the top half of it. Okay, so Fred is going to take the top half of the stick. It's going to take the ring, the holy symbol, which you said the, was the ring of the sovereign, to see if it if does it fit. Nah, that's not how. Does it look like it like it like it fits on top? No, no. And that wouldn't be the way that it would work anyway. Hmm. Nah, maybe well, we should try our luck. Well, and... well, would he know that? That's the thing. You say, yeah, hey, he's but... a friar. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, this... he's, he's a friar. He's 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 okay. he, yeah. No, this just looks like a walking stick, but it's a it's definitely a you know Hawthorne is uh, yeah, special this wood. Is... This is a special wood. I know. I'm familiar gonna... with special wood too. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hand it back. He's gonna hand it back to Sally. I'm assuming that's who gave it to him, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna hand it back to Sally and say, "Well, maybe we all ought to head to the, the cornfield because." Which that's where everybody. That, that's where everybody is. Okay. You if give you, the word if, to Sally in the cornfield. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Un- unfortunately, I did that a long, long time ago, and I regret <laughs> every bit of it. Yeah. Oh Before God. <laughs> oh no. Oh geez, that's unfortunate. I know. Oh, I get that now. Oh, yikes. Okay, so was, you're those people yeah. are headed to the cornfield. Is there anyone not headed to the cornfield? Is somebody? Is there? Are there people in this this house up up here? Excuse me. Yeah, the blacksmith. The blacksmith's still in that house up there, and then are there people still in this house down here? Yeah. Who's down there? My guy, the um the tanner. The guy, the tanner. Okay, so the blacksmith and the tanner. He just okay. got to that house. He didn't get a chance to go in, really. Okay, okay. So what is this guy doing here, down in this house in the lower right hand corner? He was going to kind of like see who was in there, if anyone's in there, and look around. So it looks like this house is empty. It's it's the house that looks like it's like getting ready to collapse. There's like holes in the ceiling you know, there's like light coming through and stuff and um it doesn't even have shutters so it's like this house is like pretty rickety it doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on in here it doesn't notice anything nothing different just whatever and well is it depends i mean it's it's a pretty ratty place it doesn't look like it's got a lot does he want to take the time to search it or no yeah i mean that's, that's what he's over there for Okay, if he's taking the time to search it, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll a uh, roll an intelligence check. He's rather agile. <clears throat> I mean, that he's, doesn't... he's got a lot of luck. <clears throat> yeah, he's not that intelligence. Nope. So trained. <laughs> trained. Uh, a trained is fine for uh, searches. Okay, so he's in there and he's searching around trying to see what he can find. And uh the guy who's up here, the um what's Black he Smith. doing? He he was he was searching around for something, wasn't he? Something. He was looking he, for either something to eat or um well he had found like a hatchet. And he also found a frying pan. Yeah. There was, uh, there's actually, there's also something to eat in there. There's some, uh, there's some cornmeal in there. Cornmeal? Some, some salt you and can. herbs. Okay. Can you, is there water? Mm. Does he have water? 
He probably had, he might, well, no, nah, he was at a wedding. He probably doesn't. And the water's in the well, so you'd probably, you know, I don't know about that. I was going to make some, make some meal cakes. If, 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 if. Let's see. You search around to see if you can find some water. Yeah, there's some water. So you're going to cook? You're going to try and oh, cook? I've got, got a frying pan. Mm -hmm. And... I don't know if like if there's the possibility I'll make some meal cake like you, know, you got mule you got salt and pepper okay like a cake all right thing. all right so you're starting to fry up some meal okay I like to work with my hands I'm a blacksmith all right all right so the blacksmith's up in here frying up some meal okay nope, so that's I'm what he's doing food. the other guys down there <clears throat> and uh, eventually Fred and the rest of the group make it up here to the cornfield now. This group, were they already headed up? Which group? The group with Garut and John and Jenny and Jed. Were they all headed towards the... I don't think that it was relayed to us that that's what they wanted to do. I don't know if Garut... He no, did. John he, he did. He on. said he. I because I, I said specifically, or is he going to share his intention to go up and check out the okay. the scarecrow? And he did. So my okay. question so is, Garut and John are, are yes. okay. So I'm going to assume that all of these people have gotten up here, except for Fred, <laughs> who's probably <laughs> right here. So the group that was going. It's probably just getting to the cornfield, and then the group that's up here is uh, is <clears throat> like making it finally making it up to the uh, to the thing up here. The uh... is your character still in the house, Garrett? No, I only have two alive. They're both in the field. What about you, Cameron? Where where's where's what happened to your character that was in the house? Um, it started to, I guess we've already gotten to the fence line here. That way. Oh, the fiddler was sitting there. You say you passed the oh, fiddler? Oh, yeah, shit, the fiddler. What is the fiddler doing? I totally forgot fiddler. about the fiddler. Yeah, well, people are walking away. The fiddler is... Is he going to follow? He's going to follow, but he's going to fiddle. Okay. Okay, so we're going to say the fiddler is also with Fred and, and, uh, and, uh, Adelis. So you got two guys on opposite sides of the houses, and then the fiddler is walking up the middle, fiddling. Yeah. Okay. So as these guys get up here to the um, to this scarecrow, they reach this scarecrow, and they realize that the scarecrow is a collection of blood-stained rags and ropes tied to a ten-foot-high post. There's just a huge pile of Golgotha of old bones littering the ground beneath, just stained with age, and some of them are half buried, kind of sticking up the ground. Human bones. But in particular, there is one skeleton. And although it's dried and dirty, it seems to be more recent than the rest. And it looks like a priest of the sovereign or a cleric of the sovereign the vestments are still just and everybody knows the sovereign obviously you know that's the big big god so you kind of realize that this was some kind of priest and there's a bony hand outstretched like this Jed's going to turn around. Hi, hey, Fred. You might want to see this. It looks like he's reaching for something. Fred's like, damn it, I'll climb the damn cornfield. Uh, so Fred starts to climb. Okay, so Fred, is everybody here kind of climbing up? Yeah. Sure. All right, Dude. they uh, they climb up and they uh, they get up to the this uh, this this scene that I described before with this 
disgusting scarecrow, this big pile of bones, and this one skeleton with the with the holy vestments and just reaching out like this one bony hand. I wonder. Tread. Suddenly you okay. hear Half the time when you again. do that, we only hear like the I bird know, cow. it's not coming through. It's the caca caca of the bird. I don't think that's a good sign. It's not. Fred is going to take the old holy symbol. Mm -hmm. Stick it into, the, into, her in, into her hand. When you stick the holy symbol into her hand, you start to hear a thunder. A thunder. The still sky fills with clouds. And as the phantoms fly up towards the cornfield, towards you, the rain starts a coming down. The rain washes away the last of the accursed farm, leaving you standing in a verdant glen under a stormy sky. Even the guy in the house is just holding the cake. It's like <laughs> crumbling out of his mouth, and he's just like, the house is gone. The smell of fresh rain and clean forest fills the air as a cool breeze rustles through the green leaves and the trees. Looking about you, this is by the ruins of some log homes. Hey, the guy with the cake is standing am amongst them. You can see there there used to be log homes here, but but they're all they're all just into the earth. What's behind? Well, okay, so Fred turns back around. Is the cross? Is the scarecrow and the the bones there? You see, the corn starts to sprout new, like in front of us. Yeah, and there's no sign of the foul phantoms. Just a regular scarecrow stands there. Just half kind of tattered in the wind. At last, looks like you're home. Wow. That was a neat little. Whom's ever has lived has the chance to be a character, a first, first level. Dungeon Crawl Classics character. Now it's time for the good part because uh, okay, now we get to we get to uh, we get to make some some characters. You guys get to uh, get to feel fe feel out your uh, your guys. Okay, I've already made my decision. Uh, I already know. But for, uh, for, the other two are the other two. It was too much for them. But Fred, Fred caught the bug. Yeah. I'm glad Fred was is uh. I think Fred surviving caught... character. Fred, Fred, Fred also has a has a clear path for mm -hmm. characterhood too. Yeah, yeah. Fred caught the bug. Uh, Jenny, sorry, she she just wants to go. Should I just del are we're, are we going to do this again? Should I delete these guys? Or well, I mean, anybody that you anybody that you that's still living that you want to be a first level character keep anybody else. I mean, they're dead, so you can go ahead and and anybody who's dead you can delete. Anybody that you don't want to be a character, if you want to keep somebody maybe as like a backup first level character, that's okay. cool. But yeah, you can delete the deadies. Just make sure you don't delete the other people. Because when we first to, when we switch to playing a first level game, I think I might switch the character sheets. 
I think we might just mm-hmm. redo these guys. I mean, obviously you'll keep your roles and everything, but like, I think we might do them on a different, different cat. Cause obviously I'm, we're not going to use these same first level or these zero level character sheets. Mm-hmm. They're going to get classes and they're going to have, they're, we're going to need the sheets with spaces for all the stuff. Like one. All right. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Jenny and Jenny and Jed, nah, they, they, they've had enough. They're going back to their, they're going back home and they're not going to, they're not, they they they're done. But Fred, Fred caught the bug. Fred felt Fred felt the power of power of Christ mm-hmm. of of, of, of sovereign. The sovereign. Yep. He felt the power of the sovereign flow through him. He's like, I have a I have a I have a responsibility. Yeah. I feel like Fred is a lock. Uh, I feel like for for Harrison, even though he's not here, his Falconer character made it. You could kind of tell that the Falconer character was the one that that he mm-hmm. liked. So, the I feel like the Falconer is probably his. What Cameron? Do do you only have one person left? Yeah, it was only the one guy. <laughs> the you killed two of my characters in in one round. I was like, oh. That was it was it was quick, man. I mean, unfortunately, that house down there was just a an instant death trap house. It was yeah. just a trap house. It, it got the... two of Jay's characters too. It killed the orphan and the hunter. Even though I like I like my I would like to play my musician as a bard. I just think he's funny. I think that goddamn this would be so fucking annoying. <laughs> He, he he would be really fun to play, but like realistically, I don't know. See, the problem is I had to re I re rolled my other character that was alive the entire time, so I don't know what's. You I mean, could you probably could go back and rewatch them. the mod. Yeah, really that's wonder. true. That's true. We could we could literally find out. I mean, it doesn't matter. However you want to do it, but like I said, you can always keep a backup character. And, uh... Yeah. But I really, I really, I really like the fiddler. Man, you can do the fiddler. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with the fiddler. I mean, it's just like his character in general in my head is. But I, I don't know how would he work, and he'd have to be the same person. There, dude. uh, Here's the thing: Dungeon Crawl Classics. Like, there's the there's the base classes, but then I've got like I've got some like books that have some weird shit so there might be some weird fucked up class that might fit i'll have to kind of look and see because like one of the things i like about dungeon crawl classics is that like there's all this there's all this like weird like stuff like that one that one adventure i ran was like part of like these zines which are like i mean like literally they're like zines Mm mm-hmm which is like, you know, I mean, they're, that's pretty cool. Are they like old, like original, or are they like... Did no, them? like, that's what I'm saying. These are, like, this is like new, because it's like a new game, but people do them in, like, they're okay. doing them in the classic way. Where, so like, I never knew you bought those. Uh, like, where did you get them from? I found them, uh, like, literally here in a game shop, like, local. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like the crawl zine for Dungeon Crawl Classics. And then these, I got printed on Lulu for, like, literally for cost. And these are also, like, a collection of zine. I mean, like, literally, look at how thick these books are. This is just, this is the Gong Farmer's Almanac 2015, 16, and 17. Oh, my God. So it's like I've I don't know. There's like all kinds of like weird stuff. So any character that you want to be first level, even if you have like you know two characters or whatever, like yeah, we'll fuck around with them. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What about you, Garrett? Is he still with us? Yeah, I don't know because the one I liked was Schlanky, and he of course had to go first. Um, yeah. And I already have Blangor. It's just I'm not really sure. Oh who yeah. Me. See, if you've got Blangor and and that's you want to go with him, then obviously like. Yeah, I like him of the three the most. I don't know who I would pick for a second if I had to pick a second. Oddly, too, in a weird way, like, I don't really, I really can't imagine doing using characters these characters in any other way than creating random new characters at level zero and using them in a game like this. 
like I, I mean, to like think of that as being like a real game. Oh like, no, no, I'm excited. No, no, like, these characters can totally like they'll they'll they I there's yes, yes but like I wonder how like. I'm trying to think of how like because here's the thing, like, this and it would be yeah, as fun as being this. This zero level, this zero level adventure is part of a campaign box set the chained coffin. Oh yeah. And yeah. It's oh, yeah. it's actually meant for this type of cat. I mean, this this is literally like it's meant for this, and so it's there's lit. all kinds of dude. There's all kinds of cool things like she got me this for Christmas like several years ago. But it has like has this like cool shiny like that's like the big end module, and it's got this like spoilers, but it's got this like cool fucking wheel. Oh shit, dude. Mm-hmm. And again, don't look any of this up because obviously you don't yeah. want to know any of it spoiled. But yeah, no, this is this campaign is it's literally meant for these these particular types of characters, which is no, why I was like why I was like kind of excited for it because I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, so you just spoil it for all the viewers. Well, I mean, you know, the viewers, if there's any viewers, are, can be excited to know that there's you know more more cool dungeon crawl classics in this weird like shutter mm-hmm. mountains appalachia type style but yeah i, I kind of like this and i was looking uh and there's there's definitely like there's there's support for this this particular style with this kind of appalachia flavor there's apparently some there's an author called and i haven't read any of his books but there's an author a pulp author called manly wade wellman and like his fantasy novels are like this they're set in like appalachia that's awesome almost like it's it's, oh god it's this sounds like this can almost be like a fetish zine I mean, it's it's kind of you know it's kind of like horror, kind of grindhousey, like is the well, is the I, idea I behind it a little you, bit. You and and we little... we're the perfect people to play it because we live it. Exactly. Like it, again, yeah, <clears throat> how naturally you just fell into that the fiddler's mm-hmm. accent, man. It's because you hear it every day. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Fiddler would have to be on math. Hey there, this is Garrett from Dicks in the Dark. Check out our live stream every Tuesday at 7.30pm Eastern Time. Don't worry about missing a stream. The VODs are uploaded to the YouTube channel the following day. Check out the links in the description below.